Hi, I'm Brandon Collins, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about when I want to add speed to my Colts. Um, so that, at this point, I would have them nice and broke and, and riding the way I want them to and doing everything kind of correct, in my opinion, and then have them started on the barrels. So this is a few months down the road when they're <clears throat> um, when everything's going easy and, and they're working the way you want them at a slow lope or something, then you want to add a little speed and then start getting them ready where you can haul them and exhibition them and stuff. So <clears throat> what I do, or what makes me decide that one's ready to start adding speed is I've done all the, the basic work on them and started them on the barrels and they know to get there, slow down and turn. So I want them to really be able to lope up here Ooh. and already be looking for that stop. So where I don't have to pull him, where he knows this is the spot, now he needs to slow down and rate himself. And then I can get him in here. And I'm not really asking him to turn, but he's staying stood up. He's pulling himself around. And like, because I'm not really asking much, but he knows to go in there and turn. Ooh. See there, I want everything to stay really soft and easy. Like I said, he, they need to make that move on their, on their own before you want to add speed. I don't want them beating me to the point, but I want them to, to be waiting on me where I can, like I said, I don't have much pressure on my rein where he can just stay in there and he's following that, that point, those points around. See, so he's, I'm just kind of doing little things, keeping them in a spot. <clears throat> but I want most everything to be, um, to really be on him. So, now then when I do go back and add a little bit of speed, I'll just come up here and get him to the barrel. And that's okay if he wants to overturn or be a little bit out of order. I don't, I just go back and correct it. But I don't want to have to drag him around the barrel. So there he kind of turned his first pretty good, but he overturned it a little bit, which is okay, that'll come out. Then he kind of, but because he overturned it, he didn't swap onto his uh, left lead, and that kind of got him in trouble on his second barrel. So then I'll come back, rate him a little bit, and then I'll teach him to, or kind of remind him, I want him to leave here, and then go straight over. So I just kind of go back and fix little things here and there. Anytime I have a problem, I just slow back down. And go back to trot go back to trotting them more and work on their feet work. <clears throat> then I'll kind of go back again and then let them go, go at a little bit faster pace. This horse here is a little bit. He's already, he's a four year old towards the end of the year, he's running harder, so he's wanting to get a little bit more aggressive. So he's kind of past that slow lope stage. So he's wanting to be, the momentum will carry him through. That's why he's wanting to be a little bit chargy. But he, or I mean, but a normal horse that's in that phase, <clears throat> you wanna um, really kind of go to that spot, feel them set their feet, give them their head, ask them to turn. And if they do that on their own, 
and every time, then you can add a little bit more speed to it. But until then, like you don't want to take your horse. A lot of these horses, you can do it because if you got them broke and they know where to turn and stuff, you can run them hard to the barrel and pull the rein, and they'll turn because you're asking them to. But that's not why I want them to turn, like because you're dragging them to it. I want them to turn because I ask them to turn, and then I can give it back to them and wait on them. If you're not able to wait on the horse on the backside, then you're kind of, it's going to look cool in the video, but you're kind of setting yourself back really a couple steps because the, you only can do that so many times before every time you pull a horse, you stop their feet. So the more that you start pulling one and the more that they start thinking, okay, I need to turn here, everything starts backing up. So they're going to start thinking they're going to need to turn two strides in front of there. You're going to start pulling them. You're going to get them stretched and locked out like this. By the time you get to the backside, they have one option. It's flip back all the way and over top the barrel or kind of get up in the air and bail out. So that's why I really, really want to um, make sure that they're light and doing it on their own. And then uh, I'm going to go straight to my second barrel because I, I feel like your second barrel, is, uh, it's the most complete turn, so it's the hardest barrel. So I really, when I train a colt, I have a couple points. Ooh. My first one's right here where I stop. I pick my rein up, I go to my second point. I come down, it's almost like a box. And then I come down here to the next one and come, then I'm almost heading straight back to my first barrel. And then I come all the way out here and clear it. Then I ask them to turn back through. And this is just the way it's worked for me. I mean, everybody's got their own way of doing things, but I feel like when I can teach a colt to really, in his mind, he's thinking, I gotta get there before I turn. He's never gonna get stuck behind the barrel. <clears throat> Even if you get a little by or, or or he keeps moving, shoots out a little bit. If he hits that point, or if you need to help him, he's thinking in his mind, I, I gotta have my hip underneath of me here. So if he has his hip underneath of him here, he's, he can, all he has to do is turn his front end and take off, where he's not stretched out behind him, which was gonna happen, let's say, if you start pulling on him. So <clears throat> that way, when he gets here, if I can be patient and wait on him, I just have to turn my rein, and then he can shoot and take off. That way, um, that'll keep you out of a lot of troubles. Like when I start adding speed, like I said, they'll start closing things off. So you really have to go back and reinforce to, to make them wait on you and, and stay pulling and moving, pull, staying fluid and pulling and moving on their own. But um, that's what I've always found when you add speed is, is always go back and, and start correcting things before they get to be problems. The, um, after I make a run on a cold or something, I'll take another uh, trip or two through and, and trot my points like we did when I first started. But um, that's the biggest thing I feel like you need to worry about when you start adding speed is not to get ahead of yourself and really wait on the colt to do it.